Hello there everyone, we are back with Kitty Plays Tonga Nampa and this is episode 15. Can't believe we've done 15 episodes already, but, or I mean I've done 15 episodes, but, you know. We're finally here at episode 15 and we are on to chapter 3 now. So, without further ado, hold on, let me, okay, there we go. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh, I think I know what this is. Yeah. It's Hina crying. No, I shouldn't cry. Poor Hina. But I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Getting out of here anytime soon. It's impossible. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to... Donuts. I need to eat some donuts. That'll cheer me up. Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled donut holes, malasadas. Okay. Oh, God of donuts. I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. Oh, yeah. Huh? huh? What's that sound? Hmm. Sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. But... I'm super scared, but... It is... Is someone there? <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, in Next Generation Legend, Stand Tall Galactic Hero. Yay. The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. Everyone met up in the dining hall, just like always. And I expected it to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... <sighs> Today's count kind of sucks, huh? Toko and Byakuya still refused to show up. Mm. And I haven't seen Miss Asahina anywhere. Hmm. She said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Oh. That is rather unusual for her. Normally, she is so full of energy. Hmm. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So then... So, it's just the seven of us, then? It looks that way. How about that? It's times like this where the common. Co <laughs> Sorry, I can't read. Okay, it's times like this where the committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang. <laughs> oh no, poor Taka! I forgot he he um he's like this because of what obviously happened to his boyfriend. So I f I feel so so bad for him, poor baby. I mean, his boyfriend just died, so like, he's he's feeling numb right now. Impossible. Or not. Like, chill, dude. Your boyfriend died, I know, but still. <laughs> this makes me so sad. Taka hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. One look at his face showed he hadn't slept a wink last night. It must be because of Mondo. What's happening? Oh, okay. Like, I was clicking and nothing was happening. I don't know. The two of them became so close. Like, li literally so close. God, guys, I can never get a room. And then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro. And then, having to watch Mondo get punished? And nothing he could do about it. I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. Well... So, I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found any way out, and we have no idea if help's ever <coughs> if help's ever gonna come. <laughs> now I'm all oh, he was talking. I'm so sorry for interrupting you. Now I'm all depressed just thinking about it. <laughs> we simply have to make the best of things, do our best to get along, and live here together in peace. Seriously, why is it lagging? Okay. 
forget about the outside world and accept this new life. This is the that is the only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? Well. Here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, our every need is seen to. Why are you dissatisfied? <sighs> In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Is that okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence. As society grows, so does its perversion. In which case, is our current situation not... <laughs> Demon Angel Pud Pretty Pudgy Princess! <laughs> huh? Uh-huh. Here we go! Nucky, the drill shop owner, the bunny-eared Amazon, cat girl dog boy, Robo Justice the Galactic King, and, and, what I mean is, there's no 2D here. There is nothing to be done. The mastermind put such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? Okay, well, anyway, since talk is like catatonic. <sighs> as the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. So, we're all gonna do work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching? Oh yeah, new floor. I'm right, right? Well, I mean, since the class trial is over and all. Perhaps. There should be new places for us to investigate. <laughs> God, doing both their voices is something. But yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well, then. Then once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> hmm, there may well be a discovery waiting for us which may further enrich our life here. Mm. Er, no, the point is to look for clues. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. You called for me and so I appear! You called for me and so I appear! Genocide! What? Ah, nobody called for you! Um... What the? How come it's Genocide Jill and not Toko? Yes! God, this place is just amazing! Finally, a place I can just be my murderous self! Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings! No more hiding in a cave for me! Uh -huh. Plus, I have another battle to fight! The whole killer with a split personality thing is so overdone! I gotta destroy that stereotype! All day and all night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Uh, um. But you are a killer with a split personality. <laughs> if she weren't here, my chances of survival would go up at least ten percent. Uh -huh. Come on, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need that need the little people to hold them up. <laughs> <laughs> I love her laugh. Huh. Well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right. Let's hurry up and eat so we can talk. <laughs> Let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> yeah. Love you too, genocide. So we were forced to eat. <laughs> I'm sorry I laugh at this every time. So we were forced to eat breakfast with a murderer, and after our much-needed but very annoying meal, we set to work looking around the school. Sorry, my brain's just a tad fried right now, so I guess that's why I'm stumbling over stuff. Okay! Oh, wrong button. I am so sorry. Okay, so to the third floor we go. Where in the heck are the stairs again? Oh right, we gotta go this way for the stairs, duh. Okay. Yeah, I know I could just teleport, but I ain't gonna mess with that right now. I'm just gonna walk, and y'all are gonna have to deal with it. Okay. Just like Makoto had to deal with Genocide Jill. So, you know what. Whee! Ah! I ran into the wall! I did not want to do that. Makoto, watch where you're going. Seriously. Do you know where you're- Oh, I should go get coins too. Oh, hi, Hero! How's it 
was a goon love. Oh, that's a very Could odd angle. Nothing's changed on this floor. Hmm. The only difference is the gate block and the stairs leading up to the third floor is gone. I guess that's where they want us to head next. I wonder what kind of crazy stuff is up there. Yeah, and the angle's weird. Okay, so, stairs, stairs, stairs. Alright, those are those stairs. Aren't they like, oh no, okay. They're this way. Not this way. I know where I'm going. Okay. There they are! Yay! I found them! Stop running into walls, Makoto! My god! Okay, third floor! Yay! A new world is open to us. The third floor of Hope's Peak Academy. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. What's up here? Well, gee, let's see. Oh, the rec room. Yippee! I don't know why I keep going yippee and yay. Huh, <sighs> whatever, ignore me. And Celeste is here. Hmm, so this is... Let's see... A recreation room. A place for students to come and relax. I never would have imagined a school having a place like this. <laughs> well, no normal school would. It has Othello, Shogi, even a dartboard and a pool table. And look at this! They even have provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Listen up! Ring, ring! Hello there! Allow me to expound! Oh, hi, Monokuma. We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines! Oh, but nothing dirty! This, <laughs> this is a school after all! If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit bags! So then... And will you be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Too bad! Sorry, no can do! Even if I wanted to, right now magazines are kinda... Kinda what? Watch out! Oops! Nothing, never mind, no, no, no! Anyway, that's it for my expoundation! Bye-bye! Yeah, okay. What he just said. I know, right? It bothers me too. Most unfortunate. Life here would be that much nicer if he could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. R really? A pool table isn't normal school equipment. Is this thanks to Monokuma or did the school buy it? There's a copy of Othello here. I'm pretty bad at it though. Yeah, a coin! Oh dang, I have 134. Okay. That's good to know. There's even a dartboard. Did Monokuma put this here or was it always part of the school? There are all different kinds of magazines here on the shelf. They even have a bunch of monthly comics, but without getting regular updates, what's the point? Or I mean, you could just read those. I don't know. This looks like some kind of bottle, but what the heck is it? Maybe it's just for decoration or something. Do, do, do. Let's see. I guess I could talk to Celeste. If I have to. I mean, probably should. Oh, there's a locker. It's a beat up old locker. Doesn't seem especially important right now, so I don't need to open it. There is nothing to be done. It is it is rather unfortunate about the magazine. But still, <laughs> I do believe our lives will improve significantly thanks to this little hideaway. Well, okay. Well, let's go see other stuff now, shall we? I mean, we could hang with Celeste all day or we could explore. I'd rather explore. So, okay. Do -do -do. Oh, I see Kyoko down there. Uh, okay. I could talk to her. Eh. Okay. It would seem... So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab and an art room. <sighs> I also found a huge machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. Oh yeah, that. I won't spoil it, but I know what it is. Okay. So this would be the art room. Let's go check out the art room. Heh, 
<laughs> the Monokuma statue. At first glance, this looks like any normal art room, but something about it seems off, or multiple somethings. Yeah, like this statue right here. Is this a statue of Monokuma? Who would ever want to make something like this? Still, the quality is surprising. And it gave me a coin. How thoughtful. <laughs> well, well. Look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches that artistic itch of mine. Art supplies, of course, but they've also collected all kinds of sculpting tools. So, Hifumi, do you like sculptures and figurines and stuff? I mean, that's an obvious question. Yes, indeed. Well, normally, I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Charumbo Pumpkinhead, and I especially admire anything that Saburo Rompongi ma Pongi makes. Charumbo's ability to express the movement of muscles is exquisite, as seen in his Mama Cat series. Pumpkinhead is like a little sculpture fairy, representing the century's greatest quality. Saburo Rompong... whatever. Meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Musume series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. But one of your Elite is missing. You know nothing! Well, the Elite Three just sounds stupid now, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Besides, that empty seat rightly belongs to me. Oh, it does? Okay. <laughs> it begins. Today begins my reign as the legendary ruler of the next century. I see. Well, good luck with that. Yeah. Let's check in here. Because why not? Oh. Yeah. This is the repository that's attached to the art room. It's used to store different artsy things. And something definitely caught my eye. There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture. But as I stretched out my hand to pick it up, almost as if on its own, my hand froze. Yeah! Huh? What I saw in that picture was a very buff Mondo, Leon, and Chihiro. <laughs> Chihiro, Leon, and Mondo. And they were smiling. What is this? Questions started racing through my head one after the other. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? I wonder. How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they used? How'd they get it developed? And in the picture, the window in the classroom, there's no metal plate covering it. It could be another dimension? I don't know. Which must mean, wherever this picture was taken, it wasn't here at Hope's Peak? But there was no time to find an answer. All the questions floating around my head were quickly drowned out by... That stupid bear. That's mine! Get it back! Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo. No, give it back! I mean, <laughs> I don't need it, I swear. And any chance I had at answers evaporated. Ah, you peeked, did you? At Mondo's muscles. <clears throat> Makoto, you perv. Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? Isn't that wonderful? They were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped a page right out of the book at you. What's going on with that picture? Do you know? <laughs> I'm not telling you nothing. Bye. Why can't you give me a straight answer? Because it's Monokuma. He's n not known to do that. Never mind. I don't even know why I bothered asking. I'll just look around here. Good lord. There are wooden mallets hanging on the wall. If I had to guess, I'd say they use them for making sculptures. No coins? Okay. Oh, this thingy. A dolly. They must have used it to move all these statues around. Nothing else? Oh, okay, that's it. I think. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, 
guess there's no point sticking around here. Maybe. I don't know. Unless they have coins for me. It's a Venus statue. Yep, definitely very art roomish. Well, let's find that physics lab, shall we? Okay. It's gotta be... I think it's down here. Wait. I'm running into poles. Makoto, you are such a plus. And I know it's my fault, but whatever. Okay, oh, those are the stairs to the fourth floor. Okay, yeah, the physics lab is down here. So dark and gloomy, though. And it's the physics lab. Dun dun. And there's Tonka. This is the physics lab. It's less like a classroom and more like some kind of research institute. I doubt he's gonna say anything, but... Hey Tonka, don't you think this place is like some kind of research institute? Still no reaction. And what's this giant thing? I mean, I know what it is, but... What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! Watch out! What? What? <sighs> what? You want to do some quantum leaping? Huh? Phew. That's a time machine. Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope's Peak. The ultimate physicist. Although, they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. Oh no. A time machine? Seriously? So... It can go back in time? Okay then, let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can... This time I'll stop Mondo for sure! Oh no. <laughs> oh sorry, not possible! This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. <laughs> one minute. Wah -wah? Hmm, you sound disappointed. Hmm. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as time machines. What? Hey. Honestly, um... it's just an air purifier. Air purifier? In other words... It can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you could even live on Mars. But what? With that discombobulating gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably don't want to live on Mars. You got... Anyway, this machine is the reason you guys have all this delicious air. So don't go messing with it. You break it and it's your butt. She thinks Monokuma. This huge thing is just an air purifier? And more than that, <laughs> to go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone is already suffering. Poor Taka. Good lord. God damn you. Oh, and it gave me a coin. So I guess it's not all bad. What's all this? They must use these for physic exper physics experiments and stuff. There's materials, pulleys, steel plates, magnets, and all kinds of stuff I don't even recognize. And a coin! Yay! I need to go spend those. Oh wait! Ah, I forgot to click something. I'll go back. Hang on. Let me look in here real quick first, I guess. Oh, it's my favorite person. Oh, I mean that kind of literally, but whatever. This is the equipment room. Super disorganized, and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. Probably just to, uh, genocide. Uh -huh. Ah, this place is so... <coughs> sorry. Ah, this place is so relaxing. So calming. The smell of form of... Form formaldehyde is almost unbearable. I'm getting seriously excited! It's so tempting! Uh -huh. I just want to duck myself right in. Of course, Genocide Jack likes it. That go just goes to show how disgusting it really is. Pendulums, wheels, rail segments, all the equipment is scattered all over. They're all covered in dust, too. They obviously haven't been used in a long time. Uh -huh. A nice long... Yeah, come on. A nice long bath in a tub of formaldehyde. That's true happiness. Just thinking about it makes me... Ah! Yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> I love her, but... We'll see her later. Plus, I gotta go check out something. In the main lab, so... 
Yeah! That thing in the corner. Hang on. Eh. Right there. Oh, this is... It's a, di it's a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on just fine. Yep, it still works. I should show the others later. Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff, and it was all strange, but I don't know if any of it was an actual clue. I'm just getting more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head to the dining hall. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Ah! ah Hina? I tried to talk to her, but... My voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Hina. Huh? Huh? I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts, and that really helped a lot. You do love those donuts. Mm. But, <clears throat> sorry, but wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well, well, my stomach ache kind of made me hungry, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Mm. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. when he does that. <laughs> Miss Asahina is pretty much the same it looks like. Just a second. Hey, you of all people don't have any room to talk. Well. Anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. Besides that, you. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge. What the heck? Did you convince them to double up on milk production? Bastard. Stay away from her, fiend. Um... Uh, anyway, first things first, we should talk about what we found, right, Taka? Oh no, he's back to silence. The poor <sighs> thing. Right! I'll go ahead then. Okay, what do you have to say, um, lover boy? Hmm. Cough. <laughs> Sorry, but I love Hero. Okay. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Byakuya a little while ago. Oh, I almost forgot about him. See, it's, it's easy to forget about a turd, you know? Uh, what? Well, unless you're hurt. You Where? Where is he? What? what? You're kind of scaring me. Uh, Where was he? Uh, um... He was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. No, 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 no! So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. Okay, <laughs> you you go off and chase your turd boy. Uh, your turd boy. Have fun with that. Huh? She just ran off. Is she okay? She's she's lovesick. <laughs> we should not concern ourselves with her. Okay, so does Hero have anything else to say? Could it be? Yeah, I totally screwed Byakuya over. It's okay, he kind of deserves it, though. I think Byakuya knew exactly what he was doing. He probably went to the boys' locker room specifically so she couldn't bother him. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, Kyoko. Correct. I think you're the next one we should talk to. There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I've ever seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? Huh? What's something like that doing here? Hmm? Is the device really that big? Hmm. I really don't get it. Uh, uh. Oh, he made a sound! <laughs> Baby! Okay. Hmm. I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows in the halls and the rooms were blocked off. I wish they'd give this a rest already. For serious. Give me back my bright blue skies. I mean, I feel him. I, I would want the same too. I'd be so withdrawn. Or I'd be having withdrawals from, like, nature. You know. <laughs> Just forget about it. 
That's impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. <laughs> Just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them budged. So in the end... It would seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. I see. Okay. Oh yeah, uh... Hikumi was in the art lab, mm -hmm. so... Art room, whatever. There was an art room on the third floor, and it had all kinds of gear. <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. Oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me. I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. A digital camera? That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well then, let's see it. What the heck? This thing's just a kid's toy. It looks like it can store like five pictures, maybe? Doesn't have a timer or anything. Well, on top of that, its appearance seems questionable. Is this some kind of anime character? Strange. You know nothing! Rude! She's not strange! She's Princess Pickles from Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess! Oh, you recognize this, Hibumi? <laughs> of course I recognize it! It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention. You have any idea how much I had to pay the, that guy to get my hands on it? <laughs> Wait, that's my camera! What? Damnation! Where did you find it? In the physics lab. <laughs> It's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it the first day, along with my phone. Let's see. Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? However... Ah, but look at it. What? It got all messed up. Like when someone steals a sticker from your collection, or you buy a second-hand shirt. Well, that's it. Huh, that's it. <sighs> it's not mint condition. This is unforgivable. He talks too much. It's not main condition. I don't need it anymore. Well, gee, Hifumi, you shouldn't be that, you know. But weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? I mean, seriously, like, come on, dude. <laughs> then may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Hmm. Well, I can't really imagine any of us are going to need to take any pictures of or whatever. Yeah, true. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Hina's the only one left. So, um... Um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Could it be... It didn't happen to be a donut-related discovery, did it? Hmm... What does that even mean? That's right. Never mind, it's about the nurse's office. Remember, there's one on the first floor, right? Well... I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then... Did you find any protein in there? Or even vitamin supplements would be fine. Hmm. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. I see. That's disappointing. Hmm. It is disappointing. Like, the end of the world is already here. I I'm not sure it's that disappointing. <sighs> okay, so... Oh, okay, so we still have to talk to people. But, like, who, though? I talked to everyone, didn't I? Wait, did I talk to Celeste? I did not. Oops! I'm sorry, I almost <laughs> forgot her. There is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room on, up on the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> <laughs> will someone join me in a game of Othello sometime? So is that everything? Okay, apparently not. I thought I could speak to every- maybe I should speak to Hina again? I don't know. We can get into the nurse's office, but there are no protein or supplements or anything. Too bad. Could it be? Yeah, I totally screwed Byakuya. Oh yeah, okay, sorry. Wait, do I need to talk to Taka? Like, I guess I, guess I should try- oh, sorry. Okay. It's no use. Okay, I've heard what everyone else has to say. So now it's my turn. Hey, Em, can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? 
I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently, Monokuma took it. Huh? A weird picture? You mean, like, dirty? No, no, not that kind of weird. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro all together. Why? Those three. And the three of them were laughing. Oh, um... It showed the three of them together laughing? When could it have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well, then... Then, the picture wasn't taken here? Let's see... But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to this school. Wow. You probably just imagined it. Monokuma cast a spell on you! No, I saw it, I'm telling you! Hmm. But if it wasn't taken before we got here, or after we got here... How about that? I bet they're all still alive! They left the school and then took that picture! Is that right? That's impossible. After all... Yeah, we saw it with our own eyes. Yeah, we saw Leon get killed. And, you know... They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Yeah, Junko and Sayaka. Monokuma killed Junko, and then there's Sayaka. Sayaka. That wasn't an illusion. It was real, I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. Unfortunately. So we have to figure out when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forged? Is that all there is to it? <sighs> Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right. But more importantly... <laughs> on another topic, there is something that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. Okay, well... What do you want, Celeste? <laughs> There is absolutely... Oh, absolutely. I am so sorry. There is also something that has been bothering me, which I would like to discuss. <laughs> What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually... It's about Hina. Huh? What? Me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? <sighs> it varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It is called a tell, something that you can't hide, no matter how hard you try. Is that okay? Whenever Hina lies, the tip of her nose gets just a little bit longer. Huh? For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Oh. But your reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. Oh. Th that's not fair! <laughs> <laughs> if you are going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? Yes. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? That's it. I'm sure of it. Are you feeling guilty about something? Just a second. No, that's not it at all. But... It's just, I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? Sorry. To be honest, I don't have a stomach ache. I mean, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> the truth? Well... I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. <gasps> a ghost? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? But, but I mean, ghosts are... What the heck? See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It, it's not that I don't believe you, but... Hina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say no matter what. So, can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura, then okay, I'll tell you. So, um... Um, so it happened last night. I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up till now. Ended up just getting more upset. So to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donuts. Huh? Donuts again? Honestly. And you ignored the rule regarding nighttime. Sorry. I know, sorry. I feel really bad about that. Hina. Anyway, please continue. But... Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. 
But then I started hearing a strange sound. Well... It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse, so I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. And I saw a human shape, surrounded by a pale green light. There is no doubt who it was. It was Chihiro! Say what? Yeah! Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> no way! A g g g ghost Honestly. It is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born from your weakened mental state. Well then. Then all we have to do is go see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Hina said. <sighs> it is a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. What? what? You're gonna go try and see a g g ghost Is that really a good idea? It might put a curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please! <laughs> I don't want to be alone! Take me with you! Hey. What are you going to do, Celeste? There is nothing to be done. <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. Mm. How about you, Mr. Ishimaru? Are you going to wait here? Oh. I guess um. that's a yes. Poor Taka. So, um... It, it was right here. I saw it right here in the dressing room. Uh, um... Uh, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, come on. I don't even know if I want to try reading that. Please! Shut up! What if he actually shows up? Hina. Hina, where was it you saw Chihiro's ghost? Well... Well, I heard a sound, and when I opened the locker, I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. Sorry, my voice is kind of dying, so... I opened the locker door, and I saw a pale outline of Chihiro. In the locker, huh? Oh, we're supposed to look in the... Okay, well, you know... Um, is this the locker? There was something in here. It's a laptop. Huh? Inside the locker is... A laptop? What's something like that doing here? Hey. I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right. I saw it in the library before. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old, and it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. But how did the laptop get from the library to here? It would seem... And I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. Huh? But I thought it was broken. Hmm. I would bet that Chihiro fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps... More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light, yes? Surely you did not mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost. <laughs> I am surprised you are able to dress yourself in the morning. Ah. Oh man, if I had the love's clueless girl's attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. <sighs> if me, please. I'm so glad I don't have it. Well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker, okay? Hey, come on. It's okay. I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Hmm. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I'd spotted a gray alien, but it turned out to be a tadpole. Hero, I love you. I really do. But honey, just know. What are you saying? Don't compare what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean! <laughs> I was just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? But listen, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing in here? In other words... Maybe someone hid it here. But... If that's the case, we found it pretty easy. Wrong. Whoever put it here, I don't think they are trying to hide it from us. Exactly. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. Haven't you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. There's a difference? There's no surveillance camera. Yes, it's me. Precisely. 
there's no camera in here, which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Mm, 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 mm. So you're saying someone put the laptop here so the mastermind wouldn't know about it? It's true. And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro, shining pale green. Hey. I think it would be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. It's just like Kyoko said, the display isn't on, but the laptop definitely has power. So then... So first of all, we have to wake it up. Right. I started hitting random buttons on the keyboard. And the display instantly began to glow pale green. There were a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Hey. There, the icon on the far left. What is it? It says, Alter Ego? Hmm. Alter Ego literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Could you let me see it, Makoto? With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over to Alter Ego and... Oh. She moved the cursor over the Alter Ego icon. And when she double-clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark. And then a voice spoke to us. You really came. Master, you're here! Jihiro's face appeared, taking up the entire display. Oh no! It's a ghost! Buddha and sweet baby Jesus save me! Calm down. Calm down, it's not a ghost. What? What? Huh? Um... Then, what is it? Anyway... I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. Kyoko, be Kyoko began to type, hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then... Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. <laughs> I always get so embarrassed introducing myself. That voice, the tone and everything. Mm. It's Chihiro. I knew it. Alter Ego. I've heard about this kind of AI, AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. AI program? That's right. It's how Chihiro earned his title of Ultimate Programmer. The, a the AI lives in a computer, and by repeating different tasks, it gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently, Chihiro used a support vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. Eventually, he came up with a breakthrough in an artificial intelligence design. Support a vector machine, reinforcement learning. It's true. To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. If you want to know more... That's it. I'm sure of it. Just Google it, okay? In other words... But if this AI continues to grow, it'll become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. Hmm. And that is why it is called Alter Ego. A fine choice, then, I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans work. <laughs> if you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your own alter ego. I see. A second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what Chihiro created. That's alter ego. Kyoko, how do you know so much about this? Are you okay with this? Anyway, so he fixed the broken laptop and put his own program on there. That is what this means, yes? Then he brought the machine to this dressing room, where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> hmm, but you know, all this about master and whatnot, yes, yes. I, I believe I'm on fire. Huh? But you're only in a 2D. <laughs> this is the most excellent 2D possible. Huh? But he's a guy, and also a computer program. I feel as if... Oh, that aspect is no problem. I mean... That aspect? Anyway... Anyway, let's talk to him a little more. Kyoko typed up way rhythmi rhythmically. How much do you know about what's going on? Master. Master only gave me a general idea. Well... But I do know that things have become very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? That's right. Are you asking what Master had planned for me? 
Well, he wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored on this laptop. Um... I believe the files are related to this school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. So it's taking me a little longer than I thought. Master! But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means they must contain some important secret. For example, perhaps the secret of this school. While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked her next question. How much longer until everything's unlocked? That's right. Um, it's gonna be a while. Leave it to me. But I'm definitely gonna do it, so you can just leave it to me. I see. So, because of how long it would take, he designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart. It also means that the work remains uninterrupted, even after his death. Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up, but be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. That's well. Don't worry, I've got a secret plan already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam, so if anyone suspicious shows up, <laughs> I'll just scream for help real loud. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, indeed. That is fine during the day, but nighttime is a concern. Huh? Why? Are you okay with this? Have you forgotten? All our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants, but we won't hear a thing. Okay, then how about once it's nighttime, we each take, tur take turns guarding the dressing room? However... There's a good chance the mastermind would notice us all going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then, what can we do? So then... Once nighttime comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. Then there's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. But... But, but, if you leave your door open all night, then... It's true. There's a chance I may become a victim myself. I know. However... But I'm not as weak as you may think. I, would go down with a, I wouldn't go down without a fight, I assure you. There was an unden undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident she would be okay. That confidence was somewhat similar to Byakuya's tone, but at the same time different. Yeah. I, I prefer Kyoko a lot more over... Togami, I'm just gonna say. Yeah, it had an entirely different feel for sure. Like someone who'd been dropped onto a battlefield versus someone who'd been born into born on a battlefield. I feel like that was the fundamental difference. I was pulled out of my thoughts by the voice suddenly eman emanating from the laptop. So, um Um, would you mind if I asked a few questions? Um I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but oh no. Is Master... For a split second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do. But she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, direct. Chihiro is dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive this situation were very low. So, I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> it's like... Somehow, I feel kinda sorry for her. Um... I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> it is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. Also, let's shut up. What? Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. And then Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. <laughs> yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye-bye. The AI seemed totally different from when we first arrived. He seemed upbeat. Was it just because he was following his programming, or could he have actually been worried about us? Could it be? Hmm. What's wrong, Hero? You know? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Then we could call for help from the outside. Hmm. But this is just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Well? Well, if we take it out of here and find somewhere that does have online access... <laughs> then that's way too dangerous! The Mastermind would find out in no time! Uh, um... Oh yeah, true! Indeed. This is no time for ta This is no time for taking needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the file analysis. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Hmm... This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now all we can do is wait for <coughs> Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? So, should we get going? It's true. Indeed. <laughs> I just don't know.
Goodbye. We'll be back, I promise. <sighs> Come on, Afumi, let's go. I suppose. Okay. And we all left the dressing room. As soon as we were out in the hall, Hina let out a joyful shout. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Ended up doing something totally awesome, right? And as if he'd been waiting for his cue. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> dun da da dun! Hina has gained enough experience to level up! What's the matter? So, what was this awesome something? M Monokuma! What the heck? You guys all seem in remarkably good spirits. Did something happen? N no, nothing in particular. Mm. Oh, keeping secrets. No fair. I demand an exclusive interview. <laughs> denied, denied, super denied. What the heck? Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it. Say what? Do it. God damn, Monokuma. You mean like, do it, do it? Huh? Wait, what? What do you mean, do it, do it? This. Ew, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gross! You said do it! Just the worst! What? You said it first! <laughs> we were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We have not had a chance to relax in some time. Huh? Huh? <sighs> but unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. <laughs> so we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to just, just, uh, I am stumbling. To decide which group would go first. Hina won the match for us, and that is why we are all so pleased. Huh? Y yeah, that's right. Speaking of which... Hmm. Okay, boys, why don't you head on back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice long bath. Hey, come on. Ah, uh, jeez, what are you gonna do, right? We lost fair and square. <laughs> well, ladies, shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with the ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and the other girls headed back into the dressing room. Oh, um... Um... Damnation! Nuts and damn it! We totally lost! Another day without getting to take my very first bath here! Uh, um... <laughs> yeah, but tomorrow for sure. You'll definitely get that bath tomorrow. Okay, so should we head back to the dining hall now? Hey! Hold on! Hey! Hey! Something strange here! Very strange! Strange? What do you mean? <sighs> What's strange is, this is the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek! Monokuma, no. Huh? <laughs> That's... You're that. absolutely right! <sighs> I thought you were all about the 2D. <laughs> all of you need to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity, opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. It's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. Yeah, I don't think so. I was forced to ask myself, should I sneak into the bathhouse like Monokuma said, or just go quietly back to the dining hall? Let's go quietly back to the dining hall. No, I can't do it. I can't treat the girls like that. Let's just head back to the dining hall. <laughs> Good for you, Makoto! Wah wah? But, what about your fantasy? I'm not sure a real fantasy should be about spying on girls and stuff. It should be more about your hopes, or your dreams, or of adventure, or whatever. Plus, I'm gay for hero. But anyway, I'm not gonna spy on them. This is kinda depressing. I see. I can't even describe my bitter disappointment. That primo fan service could have been yours. Yeah, no, I I've got hero for that. So. Oh, yeah, and I saw that picture of Mondo's muscles, so I'm good. We headed back to the dining hall, leaving Monokuma standing there alone. But to be honest, even I was a little reluctant to turn, to turn down the offer. Okay, so I'm probably going to end this here, because my voice is dying, and I think we've recorded <laughs> enough. It's like... Oh, it's nighttime already. Okay, so I'm going to end this here. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'm excited to get through this chapter. It's one of my favorite chapters, and this is when the game, like, I think kind of starts to really pick up. So we're getting to, like, the good stuff and, like, all my favorite stuff. So, yeah, I'm excited to do more. Hopefully I keep this up more often since, you know, we're getting to my favorite parts and stuff. Anyways, so that's it for this episode. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you take care.